Hello, this is Stuart once again, and I'd like to share with you about goals for 2008. Now, most of us know that the new year carries with it new year resolutions, and whenever you have a resolution, you're supposed to come up with one. I don't know, some of you might find that it's um, pathetic because whatever resolution you set never ever comes true. Well, I have some simple guidelines for those of you who have believed in the power of goal setting and those of you who do not presently already have that kind of belief, maybe it's time for you to start a change. I mean, your first resolution, therefore, would be to believe in New Year's resolutions. Well, first of all, I'd like to suggest that for those of you who have ever had a dream, for 2008, it might be difficult because you feel, oh, you know, the, the economy is not doing too well, it's a little bit you know, it might be fledging and things like uh, growth factors may be affected and so on. At the same time, I'd like you to really think about people who have achieved their dreams. Those people who have achieved their dreams in spite of bad times, in spite of the fact that times were tough, in spite of the fact that they did not have any support whatsoever. Do you have the tenacity to at least sit down for a half hour, write down the things that you've actually dreamed of? Perhaps, perhaps not. And for those of you who have never ever thought about it, maybe it's time for you to write down the things that you've wanted to do all your life. What about that food you've always wanted to eat? What about that dream vacation you've always wanted to go for? How about the person whom you've wanted to say hello to but never had the chance or never dared to? Perhaps it's time for you to take matters into your own hands. And the reason why I'm saying this is very straightforward. Many people fail to plan their goals. I was just having a discussion with one of my friends and colleagues right now, and he had mentioned that you know several years ago he had written down quite a number of goals for himself. And once he, once he took a look at those uh, old goals while clearing up his place, he got you know he had a double take because many of the things that he had actually physically written down actually came true. And for some strange reason, whatever it is that you write down will end up coming true. Question is this, you can write everything down, you can write anything down, and keep them in a book, have it stashed away somewhere, but the universe does not reward inaction. You have to go out there and do something. So, you know, uh, I was watching a movie which starred Queen Latifah last night, and something very interesting came about. She was misdiagnosed with a terminal disease and she had three weeks to live. And you know what? She decided to just open up her dream book. She was pointing at, her, uh, at each page and saying, I wish I did that. I wish I had done that. I wish I had gone to this place. And you know what? She just said, why don't I just go do it? She took that book, dumped it in the dumpster and went out, withdrew all her money and went on a spending spree because she knew those were her last days and she would never ever get to experience what it's like to live that kind of life. But how about you? Does that sound very much like you? If you were to pass because of a terminal illness, you know, touch wood, suppose that something were to happen to you, what would all those dreams account for? come up to be? Will, will you be able to account for the fact that you decided to procrastinate yet another year to set up that business? Perhaps you would say that, oh, it's not my fault. I had too much work to do and therefore I couldn't start my business. I couldn't take up that certification program. I couldn't learn this. I couldn't go out with that friend. I didn't choose this type of life. Well, maybe that's the problem. Maybe it's time for you to start choosing that kind of life. And perhaps it's time for you to really dream big in 2008. After all, all dreams are about are about stretching your potential and expanding yourself beyond your present limits. Perhaps it's time for you to sit down immediately after this video and begin to write down and pen down all the things you've ever dreamed of. What would your life be if it were an ideal life? What would you be doing? What kind of skills would you need to have? What kind of people do you need to meet? What kind of videos do you need to watch? What other kinds of websites like internetmarketingsingapore.com or worldofnlp.com do you have to go to? You know, places like that and fun stuff that you can learn from. Maybe pick up some more videos from YouTube and figure out how they uh, learn new things. You know, uh, pick up some skills somewhere and make yourself move in the direction of where you intend. Now, I'm not suggesting that this is something like, you know, you, you visualize it and it appears right in front of you. It's never ever going to happen that way. What you do need to remember is sometimes goals take time. They require 
some kind of time from you some kind of effort from you in order for it to begin to come to fruition it's just like a tree you plant a seed and you wait for it to germinate but you still need to fertilize it you still need to add nutrients to it before it actually grows and blossoms so at the end of the day for most people they might just say ah resolutions again don't think of them as just resolutions I want you to think of them as ways to improve yourself and to move towards the dream that you've always dreamed of what kind of life would that be if it had already come true as you continue to visualize and think about all these you might want additional mental and psychological resources so I'd highly recommend that you actually go down to nlpteleseminars.com to benefit from our upcoming teleseminars in the year 2008 most of them are going to be free of charge and in fact we have many of the replays on worldofnlp.com just head down there and you'll be able to see a number of mp3s and podcasts that have been put up just for your benefit the reason why we're doing this for you is very simple because we can so this is Stuart signing off from nlpteleseminars.com hope to see you one of these days on my webcasts or my teleseminars.